Hello, I'm Joseph Kasser, and this is a systemic and systematic approach to finding out-of-the-box solutions. So you have a problem. Well, what are you going to do about it? Where is that out-of-the-box solution going to come from? Well, let's take a look at the systemic and systematic approach. First of all, there's an assumption. Everyone is working in a box. Systems thinking provides understanding and also tells you that you need to go out of the box for the solution. And so the hypothesis on which this approach is based is an out of the box solution in one box comes from a solution to the same or a similar problem in another box. TRIZ, T-R-I-Z, is based on this principle. So the sub-problem that you have now is how to locate those relevant other boxes in a systemic and systematic manner. And the solution is a systemic and systematic approach using the holistic thinking perspectives and active brainstorming that I've talked about in previous videos. So how do we go about organizing the videos? Well, we can do it by activities in the workplace, we can do it by knowledge and experience, by any other organized framework that you have. And then once you have that framework or organization, you use active brainstorming and you use the generic perspective looking for similarity, like who's doing something similar, what's similar about the situations, and the continuum perspective to explore the difference. And let me give you a couple of examples by activity in the workplace. This is the HKMF and the vertical dimension deals with the level of complexity. So it starts with a product, goes up to the system layer, the business or system of systems layer, and so on. This is Derek Hitchin's five layer model and you can find it on his website. And the horizontal dimension is the state of the life cycle in when systems are being developed and all work, all projects sort of can be mapped into this life cycle or mapped into this framework. And then when you start looking you will see similarities. For example, if you're up in layer 5 and you're dealing with policies and policy issues, you're facing a particular set of constraints and a particular set of problems and you don't realize that the people down in layer 2 are facing very similar constraints as problem and problems and the characteristics of a good requirement state in layer 2 are exactly the same as the characteristics of a good policy statement in layer 5. And so if you're up in layer 5 and you're dealing with these issues, and I teach a class on holistic risk management which covers this, I point out that go look for the solution in layer 2. And you can search horizontally and vertically. Similarly, you can build a framework by knowledge and experience. And so you can start from all the way up in space, coming down to air, surface and subsurface and we can split the surface up into land and water and we can have subsets of that different types of land urban rural and we can split them up again water can be deep ocean littoral coastal whatever depends on how far you want to go with this and you can again search horizontally and vertically and you can search for ideas in fiction, in the arts, engineering, and sciences. And so, for example, if you're looking at something to do with a kitchen in a recreational vehicle, look at similar functions in passenger aircraft, in submarines. They're also performing the same functions in, within the constraints of limited space. Think about it. So in summary, 
by going beyond systems thinking and looking at the generic and conti continuum perspectives, out-of-the-box solutions are not so difficult to find. And organized boxes provide a systemic and systematic approach for finding a place to start the search. Thank you for watching this presentation.